All right, well, this is pretty much how I start every set off um, or actually every bench workout. I typically start like everyone else. I start with the bar. Um, in this case, this is the new Rogue Ohio Power Bar IPF version, uh, which is 44 kilos. Um, actually a pretty tough bar, but I typically start off with 20 reps. Um, I don't care what I do. I always start off with the same um, rep scheme. Even if I don't get 20 in my mind, that's what I'm actually going for. So if this is a little less or even a little more, that's what I was thinking. Um, typically remove myself. Um, then I throw one red on each side, which comes out to about 165 pounds. And like I said before, I try to do those same 20 reps again. Um, in some cases, it actually gets a little tough doing these because the weight is so light. Um, you get off rhythm a little bit. You try to find your groove, trying to make sure that the bar is actually lined up straight, making sure that, uh, especially with the fat pad, that you're in the center of it and not off to the side because that could throw off um, reps. So I just try to make sure I'm real clean. And the other thing is that I don't put my feet down until I get to my third, um, to where I get three plates on the bar. So that's why you'll see my feet up. And then also, I don't put my wrist wraps on until I get to two plates. Um, that's when I need to feel the difference um, in my wrists. And also it gives me a very good indicator if I'm gonna have a good bench day because when I go to lift off, I don't feel anything at all. And what's making things a little bit different today is that I'm using my A7 uh, grip shirt. And that changes things a little bit because you're sticking a little bit more. So you have to kind of fight for your actual positioning. I also um, don't put on a belt until I get to three plates. That's when, um, or sometimes even four plates, but three plates is typically when I um, throw on a belt. Um, this right here is 275 pounds. 75.6 pounds and I typically try to do this for 10 reps and like I said once again the weight is extremely easy so it's kind of hard for me to gauge but on the on rack unrack if things come off really easy I typically I'm in for a very good bench day um, and next up I have three plates three places where things change tremendously three places actually 370 375 0.9 pounds and I typically do this for two reps um, For me, this is kind of where things gets kind of heavy a little bit So I can pretty much get a better gauge of where I am on this particular day if I only do two reps if uh, Some cases on my heavy day. I'll go ahead and do 10 reps at something around 450 to 500 pounds for 10 reps. So this gives me a good indicator once again um I don't put my feet, I, actually this is the actual first set that I'll actually put my feet down. Um, I have my belt on, wrist wraps on, um, everything is almost treated as if um, it's a opener. Um, I try to pause these reps for the most part and also can get a lot of information on how my day is going to go by how these two reps actually go. Nice and easy, it's like nothing's in my hand. All right, so now this is typically my first heavy set, um, which in this case was 501. I'm gonna pause it. And it went up pretty good. It didn't go up great, but it went up pretty good. So I kind of had a feel of where I was gonna be at on this particular day. Now this right here is the weight that I got stapled with at the Arnold. And um, it actually didn't go up as good as I thought it would or should, but it went up nonetheless. Now this is where I go for 600 pounds. Um, IPF hold at the top, IPF at the bottom, and I absolutely crushed it. Um, and if you can tell, like I can tell in some cases, like I could have hit that weight a lot easier, but I chose to go about it that way because I knew that I had a little bit more. So I didn't even bang it out. I kind of dragged it out a little bit, which I wouldn't normally do. But in this particular case, I was considering um, going up to a higher weight which I wound up trying um, 640 and it didn't end well. I actually didn't record it, um, good thing, but uh, the video stopped recording at that point. So um, here's the 600 pounds once again. As you can see, this is a pretty good clean rep, probably be a second at a meet or something like that. But 
You guys asked for it. I gave it to you guys. People have been asking me, how do I go from zero to 600? And there it is. Later.